and today I'm winging this video completely from scratch. I have three little helpers who are going to help me mix up our deer feed. Um, I got a call from the guys up north that I hunt with saying we need more feed mix up there. So I figured it would be a perfect time for me to show you how not to do deer feed. Um, so many guys just dump out bags of corn. Corn by itself is terrible, especially in northern Wisconsin because there's nothing else there for protein. Corn's great for carbs, and we're gonna mix corn because corn and the carbs help the deer with their energy sources, but corn alone will actually hurt your herd over the winter more than it will help your herd over the winter. From there, I also take the corn, I mix in some soybean meal. Soybean meal is about 50, not quite 50% 50 for protein. Um, so the protein is going to help your bucks replenish their protein after a very hard rut. It's going to help your does with getting a good start on your fawn production in the spring and their lactation in the spring. And it's also going to help your bucks, not only are they going to recover faster, but if they have that protein in their diet, they're actually going to grow antlers even faster and sooner in the spring and they're going to grow larger antlers in the spring. Um, to complement that, I usually put in something sweet to help draw. A lot of times I use apples. Um, in this case, I'm adding mineral. Um, I'm adding, I have a half a bag of the infraction mineral left. Um, so I'm going to add that. Uh, I want the mineral in there because that's a good thing for the does for the lactation again and the bucks for the antler growth and the recovery from the rut. Um, what I do is I take molasses and I pour molasses in there and when I pour the molasses in the mineral sticks to the molasses really well. So we're turning it into a great kid project because we turned around and we took two liter bottles and we cut the tops and I let the kids mix the um, feed with the bottle tops. So I'm going to put you guys on pause, give me a chance to do some editing and then we will come back and get this taken care of on feeding it together. We are back and as I said, I was gonna have my little helpers help me. Um, the best part is you can use this as a teaching experience. You can teach the next generation of hunters how to A, do it right, and B, the reasons behind why we're doing what we're doing. Um, Lily, why are we using the corn? What does it give the deer? Energy. Okay, dump a bucket, or dump a cup in. You can dump the whole thing in, honey. Just dump it in. Okay, Maggie, why are we using the soybean meal? We're using the soybean meal for protein. The protein helps the deer recover from the cold and the rut, and it also helps the does with fawns in the spring. Okay? Okay, feed it in. Yep, put, put the grain in. And I'm going to turn you guys off. I'll bring you back at the very end when we have everything mixed up. I don't think you need to watch an hour video on us scooping this in here. But the kids are going to have fun. So I'm going to let them have their fun. And we're going to get back to it. And I'll share the finished product. And any of you that have watched any of my previous films before know one thing. My kids love molasses. Um, when I told them the molasses was involved... They started jumping up and down and thought that they get to play in it, but this time around we're just pouring a little bit in. It's been sitting outside, so it's moving about as slow as molasses in January. Because it literally is January. And you better believe I'll edit that out, so you guys can be good without having to watch me sit here and pour it all day. But get a little bit of the molasses in there. It helps the mineral adhere and it kind of sticks to the mineral which makes it a little easier for the deer to get it. Okay, kids. Yay! I'm so excited about my access. I love it. Yeah, I know. It's like your favorite deer food stuff to play with. So. We'll turn you back off and we'll get you back in just a little bit when we're actually done mixing the rest of it. But I did three scoops and went from there. Hey Nate, what do you think of what your sister's poured in there? Nate, look. What do you think? Wow. 
As promised, uh, me and my little helpers decided that we were going to take a look at this and show you guys kind of what the final mixture looks like when you're all said and done. Um, if you look down in here, you can see the spots that have the molasses on them. And they'll kind of have like a stringy effect to them. That right there, especially in the northern states when it hardens up, is a great thing for you to eat. And that's why I pour the mineral right on top of that. Because they'll chew into that and then they'll get not only the seed, but they'll get that big heavy hit of mineral. Which is very beneficial for them. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And thanks for tuning into it.